Let's talk today about recovery work. What does it look like and why is it so darn important? I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to assume if you're watching this video that either you or your partner pulled a pin and tossed a grenade into your life. You're standing in the rubble, assessing the damage, wishing, hoping, praying this was all just a nightmare. I've been there and I know it's a living hell. The crushing reality is that the trauma that's been caused by infidelity isn't just a jail sentence that we can wait out until the crippling pain and anger subside. The passing of time in itself isn't enough to combat the magnitude of what we're dealing with here. It's about what we choose to do with the time that's going to make all the difference in our future. I'd like to begin by speaking to those of you today who have been betrayed. I understand how brutally unjust this feels. You didn't create the problem, so why should you have to be the one to fix it? Here's why. Your healing is your responsibility. It doesn't matter how sorry your partner is or isn't, they can't fix this for you. Now I hear you, but Candace, I don't even know if I wanna stay in my marriage, but Candace, I already filed for divorce. Please hear me when I say that in order to get to the other side, you still need to do recovery work, regardless of the status of your marriage. Now, AR believes that there are three recoveries. There's yours, your partner's, and then there's the potential recovery of your marriage. But Candace, my partner isn't willing to get into a recovery program. Maybe I should just wait for them? For both sides, absolutely not. And here's why. They might change their minds when they get home from work tonight. They might change their minds in a month, a year, or never. I know that's incredibly hard to hear, but the sooner you start doing recovery work, the sooner you are going to get to the other side, with or without them. If anything, they might see all this progress you're making and be like, hey, I want to get on this healing bus. Okay, so what does recovery work look like? At a fair recovery, it looks like signing up for a course via our website. I want to address a question today that we get asked pretty frequently here at a fair recovery. Should we take a couple's course first or should we do individual courses first? I'm so glad you asked. If both partners are willing to begin recovery work at the same time, please run, don't walk, sign up for our EMS weekend intensive or for our EMS online course. Speaking of urgency, my husband sent me this quote and I absolutely love it. If you're going to fight, fight like you're the third monkey on the ramp to Noah's Ark and brother, it's starting to rain. I implore you to fight. Fight like your marriage depends on it because newsflash, it does. If just one of you is willing to get a new recovery program or if you've already attended our weekend or taken EMS online, we have our Harboring Hope course for the betrayed and our Hope for Healing course for the unfaithful. Details about these courses can easily be found on our website. I think we can all agree, when we're going through hell, the last thing we wanna do is set up camp there. So how do we avoid a hellacious, never-ending camp out? We get into community with others who are in our same boat. When you sign up for one of our courses, you'll be placed into a small group. Will everyone's boat look exactly the same? Maybe not. But we're all trying to row in the same direction, and I can assure you, we are stronger together. The members of your small group are there to support you as your group leader guides you along this trek and gives you the roadmaps and tools that were created by therapists who specialize in infidelity trauma. Speaking of that trek, which we compassionately refer to as your recovery journey, I'm going to admit something wildly unpopular. I personally hate everything about hiking. So when I heard that the recovery mountain will look steeper and longer if I try to go it alone, I was like, heck no. I want to climb that mountain with people who understand exactly what I'm going through. I want to show up to that hike with my baggage, saggage, drama, and trauma knowing that my group members are going to show up with theirs too. And we're going to get through this together. On a personal note, 
My husband and I started EMS Online exactly three years ago this month. I was 99% sure we were going to divorce, but that 1% was screaming loud enough for me to commit to a 13-week course. Was I nervous? Yes. Did it cross my mind that we might have the most horrific story in our group? Yes. Did we? That's a story for another day. I want to take a minute to tell you how awesome our EMS online group is. It's important to note that I said is and not was. That's because three years later, we still meet. They might have started off as complete strangers, but these people quickly became my treasured confidants. Please know, you don't have to go it alone. You can call us, email us. You can even make an appointment to speak with an intake specialist to learn more about the courses we offer and how we can help. I speak from experience when I say, there are brighter days ahead. We understand what you're going through and we're here to support you.